Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, the big smiling face on the left side of your screen is Manny Pacheco, who occasionally likes to join Art Kirsch and I on Celebrating to talk about movies and movie stars. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for thank you thank you for having me. I, you know, I appreciate quite it. Quite frankly, I consider you a friend, and I don't think that you deign to give us an audience uh, as John does. <laughs> uh, but then again, you and I may go back at least a week or two longer in knowing each other than John. Uh, uh, yeah, just just a few weeks. Uh, speaking actually. speaking yeah. of uh, long time, uh, a lot of stars that have been around for a long time. Uh, are getting up into their uh, 70s, 80s, 90s. And uh, we've had a lot of passings this year. Um, are there still any of the good old timers around who are still hoofing around that are available for us to see? Because I've forgotten who's still left. Well, a surprising amount. Let me first just say, I mean, it's just been a brutal year mm -hmm. with Sidney Poitier and Peter Bogdanovich right. and Marilyn. Yeah. Betty White. Well, that was in 2021, the last day. Yeah. Um, but there was also Dwayne Hickman, who was Doby Gillis. And, That's right. That's uh, right. We, we lost Marilyn Bergman, who co-wrote with her husband, Alan, The Way We Were and You Don't Bring Me Flowers. And then we, we've also lost fabulous uh, singer, uh, crooner, uh, uh, Ronnie Spector. I mean, just it just the list just goes on. It, it, it's like it's relentless. It doesn't let up. But there are still enough of those uh, great, great uh, performers and some that would surprise you that are in their 90s and they made a name for themselves maybe as Andy Warhol might have put, put it, put it uh, they had their 15 minutes. So but, but, okay, let's, uh, let's go. Okay, the, Manny, let's Manny, go great I hate to rush you here, okay? But uh, we want you to give us some people who are still around while they're still around. Yeah, uh, let me just say that uh, you and I were talking about, I think this is what led to this segment, uh, Art, uh, was uh, the fact that we all know that we, we're still lucky to have an active actor and director in Clint Eastwood, and he's surely in his 90s. Is he and, really? Mm, wow, yes. I don't, you know, I don't think of him as that old, and I know he's still around. Yeah, Clint Eastwood is still around with us, and he's, but, but, the, but the amazing thing, like Betty White, he is a he's a performer still. He still he still appears exactly. on screen, and, and and even more amazing, he directs films still. He yes. has not retired, and his films are good. Yeah. <laughs> so we're lucky to have Clint with us. Uh, two other Academy Award winners, who have um, both, I believe, are now retired, but still with us at at ninety and ninety one. Uh, maybe they're both ninety one now, and that's um, Robert Duvall who uh, essentially made a name for himself in the 60s with The Twilight Zone and then a very short appearance in To Kill a Mockingbird. But we all know Robert Duvall, just, yeah, just a terrific actor. And Gene Hackman, 91 years old. You know, he's been retired for 17 years. No, wow. he, yeah, he, he I mean, passed. No, he's still around. Well, yeah, no, at this point, Manny, your list starts to become, with Gene Hackman, your list starts to become... Are they really still alive? I yeah. thought they were dead. You know, that's Oh well 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 there are people who do appear on screen a lot, so you know they're alive. For example, yeah. Dick Van Dyke just seems to be everywhere. Now he's not performing per se, but he just seems to be on the uh the, the guest show circuit, yep. you know, the variety show circuit. Yeah. And so you see Dick Van Dyke or you might see Norman Lear, who's ninety seven. Or wow. 99. He's 99. He's about to turn 100. We're hoping he gets there. Yeah, he just, had, that he just got a Kennedy. Russia. I think he just got a Kennedy Award. Uh, yeah. Uh, just the other day, I saw him on TV. And the one person on this list that I've actually met, I've actually met Norman Lear. So I, I've been lucky to have met him. Norman Lear and Dick Van Dyke are always making appearances, and, and they're very, their face is very familiar on screen lately. Also, that can be said about Rita Moreno. She was, uh, she was actually a Grand Marshal in the uh, in the Tournament of Roses parade, and uh, she she just appeared in West Side Story. And um, you know, and I have to tell you, she looks. Fabulous. I don't know for, how old she is. But... Oh my gosh, absolutely. And she she's an EGOT. Great. As, as, as Art likes to say, she's an EGOT. <laughs> right. Oh, that's right. And we cannot leave off Mel Brooks. Come on. 
I mean, it, now I thought Mel Brooks died. Uh, no, Mel Seriously. Brooks. No, Car his his friend Carl Reiner right. died. The other one. Oh, okay. The other one. Yeah, they were best friends. They've been best friends since they were appeared together as writers and an actor on your show of shows with Sid Caesar. But well, they were lifelong I, friends. Right. Mel Brooks may not have died, but I know he wrote jokes about his death. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, he also that's was good enough. Yeah, and he was also wasn't he also the three million year old man or something? Yeah, the, I was going to say the 1,200-year-old man or the 500. I don't know how many. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it was. <laughs> okay, here's a name that I can give you that would surprise you. And I believe he's like 99. He might be 97 or 98. But how about this one? Larry Storch. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Really? <laughs> he's still alive. And he still appears at autograph shows. He's still around. And God bless him. I mean, he just wants to remain relevant. And he works hard at it. And you know he's the longest of long in the tooth. <laughs> yes, he's I've done so remembered. many wonderfully fun roles. Yeah, he was years. in F Troop, obviously, but he also appeared in The Great Race with Jack Lemmon and Tony yep. Curtis. Yeah. So yeah, Larry Storch is still with us. You know who else is still with us? Bob Barker. Really? The host what? of the host of uh, uh, Truth or uh, Consequences. Truth or Consequences. Sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Bob Barker is still with us, if you can believe that. Oh, wow. So, these are names that would Good surprise you. him. Yeah. I hope they're all enjoying their retirement. Well, they're not all retired. Well, well they're not all retired, but 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 I will say I think Bob Barker had, has led a good life. He's really been supportive of animals. He was a friend of Betty White's. Sure. Yep. So, yeah, good for him. Here's another name that we all love. How about Angela Lansbury? In her no. 90s. Yeah. yeah go, she's where did she wrote? I'd go see her again. Well, yeah, but she's I didn't know she's alive. Yeah. And of course, she she appeared in the picture of Dorian Gray back in 1947. She was sure. a Manchurian candidate. I mean, she's just uh, uh, still active, I believe. Not as active as she'd like to be. I mean, but she's she's pretty active. Another name of uh, somebody who was good friends with Angela Lansbury, James Earl Jones. Hmm. Yeah. Well, alive. I can always hear his voice. Right. On CNN. And although, she, she's the voice. although she's not that old, somebody who you would expect that maybe 10 or 15 years from now we'd be talking about uh, would be Helen Mirren, who must be in her 70s. Well, Helen Mirren's in her 80s. Yeah. Though. I mean, she is in her 80s. Yeah, yeah. She, she's there. But if you're going to talk about Grand Doms, here's a name you both might not be familiar with, but you really should be, and that is uh, Marsha Hunt. Marsha Hunt was a, a supporting a character actor of the 1940s and 50s, and we probably would know more about her, except in the 1950s, she was blacklisted. Uh, uh, and she became a filmmaker and documentarian, and she pretty much documented her career as a blacklisted performer, and now she's a champion. She's considered a champion, and even more importantly, she's the oldest of this group. She's 104 years wow. old. Oh, my Lord. God bless her. <laughs> How about that, right? I, I, oh, you know what? I did lie. I, not only did I have I met uh, Norman Lear, I have met Marsha Hunt. Oh. So, yeah, she's still with us. Is that is that amazing? Yeah, good for her. Good for yeah. her. Well, I, again, I wish them all a great happiness and enjoyment every day. Right. Yeah, it's quite a list. We're lucky. I don't know if this will air because I know that we tape these a couple of weeks in advance. We're hoping that as I as I as I speak about them, also here. Uh, that yes. they're all still here, and, and, and this year has been a killer. Mm. Uh, no point. Yeah. Uh, one, one other name I'll leave you with, and Marilyn Bergman's uh, co-writer of, of, of music was Alan Bergman, and he's still alive, and he's in his 90s. Mm. So. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, as you say, let's hope that they all continue to enjoy life for uh, the rest of the year at least. And by, by the way, one of the wonderful things about uh, many of these entertainers uh, is that whether uh, they're in particularly music, TV, or on, on the big screen, is that they actually live on forever, especially the ones who have had great performances. We can always see them online someplace or go to a movie and enjoy uh, uh, the magic that they, that they had at that time and, and have for many years. We get to see them over and over again, unlike many other people, like people in business and things like that. So... We do get right. to enjoy them, but it's really interesting about, particularly people like Clint Eastwood, who are still extremely active, uh, and, yes. uh, and, and and doing great you work. Are doing great work. 
you are preaching, Art. Preach, 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 because it's true in my mind, Humphrey Bogart and James Stewart and Clark Gable and Katherine Hepburn and Betty Davis, they live on for me because I can watch a movie and they're just as vibrant and just as alive but as they were 70 years Nani, ago. Nani, do you have your calendar? I've already spoken to John about this, but could you mark your calendar in 2042? I'd like to have a conversation about that, about all the youngins, okay, who are a little bit younger than us, who are still uh, uh, knocking it out of the, the park like the three of us. So 2042, um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's start a little bit earlier. Be there. Because I need, yeah. a, I need a nap in the morning and I go to bed early at night in, in 2042. Yes. <laughs> Will do, Art, and, uh, and thank you for letting me share uh, some positive news about actors still with us in the year 2022. That's that's really what it's all about. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.